Hello everybody, my name is John Mailmanis, and welcome to round three of Nicodemus and I's Battle for Zendikar, Blue, Red, Aggro, whatever -y deck. We won the die roll, and gee, but that is a lot of land. I think that's better. I think keep it and hope we can top an island. God, our draws have been horrible. It's really sad because I think this deck's pretty cool and we're, it's, we're just starting in horrible positions. But I guess we're going to keep this and pray. <laughs> That's not the land that we want. Pretty gross. I think we're in a world of hurt and, you know, whatever. We draft a sweet deck and we're really running into a little bit of bad luck here with our draws, sadly. Has every person we played against played blue? Oh, that's good. Did the first guy that we played play blue, or did he play... I can't remember now. No, it's green-white. Yeah. Uh-oh. UB control. I'm guessing he's going to get rid of Clutch. You choose a card from it with CMC 3 or greater. Oh, 3 or greater. Sorry. I thought it was 3 or less. Whoops. Sucks for you. Now he knows every card in our hand. We need some gas. Oh, there Whoa. it is. Processor salt goes a long way now that we got something in his in exile. It answers a lot of things. That sucks. That sucks hard. Well, that card's good too. Jesus Christ! Unreal. We just can't... We either draw all the gas in the world, or we draw all the lands in the world. No happy medium, ever. We can outnumber that. I mean, that's probably not. I don't know. That just doesn't seem very good right now. We can outnumber an next turn if we need to. Why? Does this happen to everybody? One, two, three, four. So next we can outnumber. Uh, so I think we don't attack. We'll play out of land. Next turn we can clutch with Awaken. Pass the turn. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure that if we draw another land we're just like conceding. <laughs> like Good God. No attacks. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh my god, concede! Concede! It sucks because I want to play clutch with Awaken, but there's nothing to bounce. He gets all the value in the world. It's awful. Strictly awful. 
Okay, there are 17 lands in this deck, and we've drawn seven of them. We have not drawn Herald of Kozilek once. Or... Rolling Thunder would be a great draw for us, actually. <laughs> yeah, it would. I can't believe this. Because Isaac, he's missed land draws. Like, seriously, if I was him, I'd just be popping these for cards. Is that what that does? Sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Yeah, that's really good. In response, clutch. We could clutch our own thing. And awaken. It's a sorcery. Son <laughs> of a bitch! There are too many sorceries in this game. Bone splinters. Yeah, it's just gotta be this guy spawner. This is like so bad. This deck, I like it a lot. I like the interaction. This deck is together. better than this. Yeah. But when you draw seven of your 17 lands in the first, what, we've had seven, ten cards. Like, what? It's unreal. I was really hoping he's going to start playing out bigger things so he could process our salt and stuff like that, but. I think he's playing around it. I mean, maybe. Our big flyers would be just excellent to start trying, seriously. Yeah. But seriously, after the next one, we're conceding. We don't have any card draw in this. Would would have been really nice. That against Insight would have been great, but we didn't pick Rolling. It would have, it was between that or Rolling Thunder. And we've drawn eight lands now. I think I'm going to attack here. You do you, man. That's disgusting. I mean, they look nice all lined up, four by four. Shut up. <laughs> they kind of got like a little theme going. Floating stuff. Pretty cool. So he's going to bounce something else. Just a scion, I would guess. Although he can return his. His sky spawner. Should have done that after he attacked, though. He kind of punted there a bit. Kind of punted there. Sadly, it's still not a good target for a clutch of currents because it allows him to do it again. Yeah, it's not good. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> the crazy thing is he's not doing anything either. Like, this is just like the dirtiest, and he's only got four, I don't know, this is retarded. I've never wanted to fucking tip my desk <laughs> over more. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I think this might be the worst run of land draws we've ever had. It just—I mean, the, the the problem I have with it—it's not even about winning. It's just—it's not even do it, it. It's not doing this deck justice. Like this deck is really cool, and it would have been—it could have made for a really cool uh, experience and cool video. But sadly, we're kind of getting we're getting boned here a bit. Yeah. It's just it's funny that he bounced. Oh, he's gonna play it after. 
Can we just get like a flyer or shit? Just the Eldrazi at this point is like the best card we can pull. That's a good That's, one. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't play the Sky Spawner. Does he have? He's leaving up Spell Shovel. So if we play this for five, one, three, four. Yeah. We have so we have nine. We we'll play it for five, and we're good. Yeah. Oh, good God! It's about time we drew something. Of I'm gonna swing with both. No, I probably shouldn't. Actually, play out Wind Rider Patrol. We take three, go to ten. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think that the mana is very clearly more valuable to him. It's not that valuable to us. Thing is, we take one for that now, though. Yeah, that's a good point. But whatever. Yes, we can pay for your spell shovel. Do not fuck with us. Um, do we want to kill something? No, I still don't think we want to. It's funny, he saw these both in our opening hands. And he's got them written down, I'm assuming. Mm. Blue Jays are on. Forgot, damn it. Turn it on. Let me unmute. John Bell and that is not a sports friendly channel. What just happened? He tapped us. Did we lose? Taking four? Five? Ugh. Maybe should have killed something after he after he did that. That was on our end step, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, we probably should kill that Merc Strider. Especially now that we're taking an additional five damage. Sucks. There's just nothing of value to bounce. Like we're probably just gonna have to do it anyway to get the four-four blocker going. And there's not really anything to steal at this point either, so it's probably just clutch his one of his scions. Like it sucks, but yeah, I guess we kill the uh, this. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. What are we taking here? We're gonna be taking at least four. Okay, so I think we and need. We're gonna to get pinged once for that guy. Processor assault. Should we? Before we do this, should we bounce his black dude? Because once we kill the... I don't know, I kind of feel like we just bounce the Scion, right? Yeah, but then when his creatures die, like we're at six, so like... When his creatures start dying, then we're just... I mean, ultimately he's just going to keep playing it, but... God, maybe we kill the spy sky spawner. The land is gonna allow us. Oh no, it's awakened three. That sucks. I was gonna say the land would allow us to block out. Yeah, I think we gotta kill that. It's happening here. I hate that I have to advance that. So you think we have to kill this, right? Yeah. He's got spell shrivel. I don't see why he wouldn't do it there. Yeah, exactly. 
He's certainly been repping it. Yeah. I know we pulled and passed another one. I don't even know what there was to. Th oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. He's got all the card draw, but he's got Ugin's insight too. Bastard. We gave you that. Give us his game. Is he still game one? Um. I think it is. Rolling Thunder would still be a great draw. Like we just blow him the fuck out with Rolling Thunder. Yeah, we do. I mean, then he just sacks a bunch of them, but maybe he taps out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're just going to draw some land anyway. Yeah, if some butts, mans. Mans? See, the thing that sucks about that is, like, if we kill all his creatures there, we should take four. Yep. That's how it goes. We got 15 to deal with at this point. Wow. Unbelievable. That's not That's it. good. That's the end of that game. Well, shit. That was awful. Couldn't draw gas to save our lives, and then once we start getting stuff, we just... It's, it's too bad, because he just dirtled around, too. Like, like, Mist Intruder, I think, is good against him. The second one because it just blocks so many of his scions. Yeah. Um, I, from what I saw, I feel like Devastator is like overkill against him. Yeah. I think as long as we just get in the air, we're fine. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think go for it. Is there anything else that we could do? Not really. Because I was going to say, without that, we don't really need the channeler, but I think it's good enough on its own. I mean, you could um, and I kind of am half tempted to drop another mountain and add an island. I don't know, maybe I should. What about drop the Skyline Cascade and put an island in? I still feel like doing that is better. We haven't needed the red. We've needed the blue so much more. Yeah. I think that's fine. And actually, we could bring the Skyline Cascade in if we're just playing an extra island. I'd rather just have things, because we've okay. run up against... Fine. It's hard to argue. Fine. It's hard to argue with the luck we've had today. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, we need some help, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth here, no. as it were. <laughs> Never really known what that means, but that sounds good for right now. Honestly, just like an island. Hey, draw. Look at us doing things. Yeah. How about a fourth and fifth land, even? We don't need them straight away, but... Yeah, let's not get carried away. A fourth eventually would be fantastic. Yeah. Two turns to draw one land. I like that. You bastard. Yeah. That does nothing. It's not tapped. It only keeps it tapped. Yeah, but I don't like when he targets our stuff. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I, mean, I like he's can't do anything. Something about a gift horse. I don't... Is that how that saying works? Yep. That's how it works. Um, I feel like you're mocking me. I would never. I would never be so bold. Oh, I'm sure that's just not the case. Yeah. If he wants to swing with his sludge crawler at the crackbacks. Yeah, Pretty knock yourself real. out. Knock yourself out. And on top of that, we have... There could have been something to say for leaving Spell Shrivel up, but uh, we've just got plays. Um, not, not, I, I really want to land, um, but if we don't, we have Spell Shrivel on the next turn, which is Ooh, Colostri oh. to Healer. 
I like that. Yeah, that's a great one. Uh, that's a great one. Luckily, in Black Blue, he won't have too many triggers. I mean, we know of a few, but... He, uh, he makes a land drop there. Not fantastic. As did we. Not good. I say... Tap Nettle Drone, kill his Sludge Crawler. It doesn't attack creatures. Oh, fuck. Every time. I think that we just pass. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps spell shovel money up, see what happens. Yeah, because then we can. We can ping him with Nettle Drone. And then play spell shovel. Yeah. Do we attack here, though? He just blocks it. No, it's. Yeah. Mana land there would have we would have been in really really good shape here. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Especially after he missed land drop, that would have been real good shape. I love yeah. how Kiora's pitcher has the Biden in it. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't realize that Kiora had stolen the Biden until far, far after. Mm -hmm. Theros had ended. Yeah, I need to get better with the the lore at the time that it goes on. Yeah. Just oh. the battlefield, you may return target card with Awaken from your graveyard. Yeah, I think we're still just going to do it anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he's not getting much value out of it, but just the fact that we're countering something when he's missed a land drop. For some reason I thought that solid. didn't work. But. Okay, a land right now would be... Yeah, a land on our turn would be great. Awesome. Beginning of combat. Now we have money for processor assault, which is awesome. End of combat. Tap Nettle Drone. Ping away. That's not bad. Ping. Ping one before you cast it. Ping one. Cast it. See, there's great synergies with this. It's really too bad we're missing land drops because... Now you can swing for two. This is what this deck is meant to be doing, and it just sucks that we're missing land drops because yeah. we'd be we've got the gas to gas for days. Yeah, I really like this deck. I haven't really we haven't played an archetype that I don't like yet. No, I really like this set. It's it's strong. It's got a lot of different mechanics in play that just make playing every different color combination a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I still, still think... Because, I mean, even before Zendikar, I was so into that son of a bitch. Ping it. I was really into um, red, white, soldier, human, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they'd bring out red, white, ally, soldiery, little guy deck. Awesome. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, that girl who bought all those magic cards, that's really good. She brought them to work and was like, here, check out this deck that I built with, out of all my black cards I'm going through. And I was like, oh yeah, you probably should want it. She was playing like mono black with like an Orzhov charm in it, and I was like, yeah, there's no, you don't want this in here. She's like, but it makes mana. And I was like, yeah, but. So it is just like a, a swamp. And uh, she's like, you should bring a deck in and we can play. And I was just like, um, I'd feel really bad bringing one of my decks and playing against you. And she's like, why? And I was like, um, how do I say this kindly? This deck doesn't play against my decks because my <laughs> decks just 
blow this thing out. She's you like, should okay. get her playing limited is what you should do. Well, yeah. She only Br has... Bring in, be a good dude, bring in... <laughs> even play four-pack limited, play 30-card decks. Well, that was the thing. I, she was like, well, then buy... make... She was oh, like, then go things. make a deck out of what cards I have here. And I was like, oh, okay. So she... Yeah, but don't make a standard deck. Like, seriously, go play limited. So she's making decks with what she has. Like, that's the best way to learn the game. Like, Well, no, she knows how to play the game. So I just made a deck out of the cards that she had. And then I played a red-white beats rally ally deck. And Do we swing with everything here? What? So, you, so he take, if he wants to block here... He can. That means he's not. Actually, he's probably better just leave Kozilek back. Kozilek's Sentinel. We could. Yeah, that's getting greedy. Yeah, swing with the two. The Mist Intruder and the Vestige. Oh boy. Okay, that's fine. We've got plays elsewhere. Yeah. And then we played, and I went 4-0, and and I felt like a dick. I still do that to Lindsay. That's why she won't play with me. Well, yeah. It sucks. It's pretty funny. Our boss came into the break room and was like, what's going on here, Dungeons and Dragons? And I was like, eh, it's made by the same people, so... Yeah, I mean, you know, I got Lindsay into doing, you know, like we were buying pre-release boxes afterwards and stuff, and... And then, like, we went, we did dragons, and I took that blue black thing, and I just opened a god pack and opened a Silumgar, too, and, like, yeah. just made the most disgusting limited deck you can ever imagine. And, oh, uh, it would, that was just kind of like the last draw, because she actually put together a really cool, like, blue white evasive thing, had a lot of the pieces in it, good value everywhere, and I just four owed her in the most brutal of fashion. <laughs> Uh, and that was pretty much the end. And, she, you know, she was just so... I just, you know... There was no way for me to even throttle back because it was just like there was so much value in my deck at every corner and, like, uh, it was just brutal. So we're just going to go ahead and process her assault here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just, like, the perfect cam deck, like, two-for-ones, three-for-ones, four-for-ones. <laughs> It doesn't play good, well against the mirror, but oh god, I gotta go watch every Friday night now. So that's great. So are we running? Oh, I guess we're running the next Mist Intruder. I didn't realize that we were tapped down. So things have worked out pretty good in this game. Um, we were like, we missed land drops for a couple turns. Um, honestly, if we had got that fourth land, like even a turn sooner, yeah, you know, we're in even better shape. But if we're hitting lands on on cue, the, I think we pretty much run away with with this one. Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself. There's certain. I mean, he needs to come up with an answer right now, or we're swinging for five in the air. That does it. So it's down for a turn. It's got four cards in the end. Oh, oh wow. It slows us down for two turns. Now is when we want uh, Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder would end the game. That card always reminds me of ACDC, and then I realize how bad ACDC is. Like, like I re-realize it. You dislike ACDC. I don't know that they're... No, they're bad. Hey. Is that Rolling Thunder? What well, do you know? So we get to do two damage. Two of his only. players. Oh. Uh, so we have three flyers. I think the 2-1 is more dangerous than the 1-2. The other thing is we could just kill... That and a Scion. Or just deal him it's one damage. Like, it is three. I think if we do tap for two, kill the spawner and the, and the Scion, and then swing with the house, he blocks that flyer. He blocks 
there. It's got trample. I think we just win, don't we? Yeah, probably. Wow, these games have gone really long. Let's just hope our deck curves out like this again. So let's just make sure. He, yeah, has to attack, he has to attack there. So we hit in for two in the air, and then he has to block the ground creatures. They both die. We don't. I don't think we win, but... We're pretty much there. I mean, one way or the other, we're wiping his board. Putting him in a difficult situation. Are there board that wipes in this? Out. All right, so he's taking one, two, and then an additional one. You're down to two, he's got to put out a lot. Everything, oh, he's tapped out. Well, I mean, yeah, next turn. It's too, again, with all this uh, ingest, it's really too bad we didn't have more uh, more stuff to do. Yeah, that... Uh, to process. What was that card? Ulamog's Pro... Or is it Kozilek's Processor? Yeah, so we get there. On that one. That went significantly better. The draws yeah. lined up really well, actually. It did. And I think... Um, I think we just run it back. Yeah, I do too. Um, Was that game two? Yeah. He beat us in game one? Yeah, he kind of blew us out towards the end. I can't remember what that oh, draw oh, right. is now. Right. We drew a thousand lands. They're all starting to <laughs> bleed together already. Yeah, because we're just drawing thousands of lands in each hand. Ulamog's Despoiler, that would have been really good to get. And we actually passed one. The 5-5, five, five, cast for 6. Right. Yeah, that would have been... Good that been lord. Awesome. Are we on the play... On the draw. I think we're going to keep this five lander on this one. You just hope we don't draw any more lands. Keep. Honestly, if we can just go like. What is gas. that one? What's that Just blue? gas. Just gas. Well, that works. All the gases. That was a great draw. That's one of the two I was going to say. The cloud manta would have been. Just in, yeah, good. into like. Uh, Way in the patrol would be. Windrider. Awesome. Yeah, that would be. Okay, so technically we got like two turns to pull it Actually, off. more colorless creatures with Nettle Drone would be great. Yeah, that's probably true. So, what do we got? How about Herald of Kozilek? Wow, wouldn't that be something if we drew our best card? <laughs> the yeah, the card we haven't seen. Yeah. Hey, Herald. there we go. That's all right. So let's go ahead and get our ingest rolling. For that one card that has the uh, exile trigger. But really, like, no more lands. Yeah, no more land. We just need gas. Um, Cloud Manta was a great draw. Yeah. I mean, that, it wasn't, like, fantastic, but it's great. Something to do. It's evasive. Oh, that sucks. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got all the cards in Exile that we need, so. But, I mean. Yeah, Nettle Drone, just a bunch of colorless creatures would be sweet. Get a bunch of value out of it. Oh, I knew it. I fucking or not. knew it. Huh. Kind of sucks, but it's okay. still don't hate our position. I'm liking it less. Yeah, I think in the air. Yeah, it would have been uh, it would have been Vestige of Emrakul had he not killed Nettle Drone. But yeah, absolutely. But all right, no more land. Seriously. Be evasive. Yeah, seriously. 
Like, seriously. Okay. No, that's one? Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's all he's doing. Perfectly fine with that. Hey, look at that. That's... I'm okay with playing that prior to playing the Vestige. Or the Visage, if you will. There's no incentive to play it beforehand. It's when a colorless creature enters the battlefield, so... No, yeah, not before combat. It could be a spell shovel coming, too. Oh. Or just, like, tap out. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So just roll out the nursery and... Hope Say we go. Guess. Now colorless creatures again are at a premium. Yeah, exactly. Just colorless spells in general. Us, but yeah. Not, well, yeah. At this point, I think we want creatures, but, you know. Something to be said for spell shrivel. God, he's gone. Is Sanctum of Ugin even good? Like, I don't think that card's good at all. I think it's awful. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just cynical. I mean, it does signify that he's got something big somewhere. You don't run it otherwise. I suppose. Which, you know. Whatever. Hey, we haven't seen... There's so many cards we have not seen this game. Seriously. I think we run that. And pop his little dude. Do pop what? His, pop his Scion. With I him. know. Which do you want to play, though? Okay. We, don't, we don't need to play Infiltrator. I kind of think yeah, we've got Vestige. But unblockable damage is pretty nice. Yeah, it is. But when we pop it, he's got nothing to block anyway, so. Yeah, that's true. At the moment. For the time being. Moment. Interesting. He's got a lot. Boy. Swing. Yikes. He seems like he's in a bad way right now. Apparently. I'm kind of surprised with all yeah. these cards in hand. Three cards in hand. What? We gave him the Indiana. opportunity too, really. I mean, we our draw was pretty smooth. All oh, time, so. eight man. There it is. Army Breaker Breaker. of armies. Can we win before that? No, we cannot. So we need to attack so that. Well, we kill his thing. Like when he swings, we kill it. Kill what? I said when we swing, we kill it. We have enough damage to kill this creature. When well, yeah, something. but still. Like, yeah, I know. I don't want to clear my board. I still think we need to swing so that we're not we're Let's not able get, to like, block. Clutches. Yeah, uh, clutch or the one that steals would be amazing. All right, so we play a colorless creature. We ping him for one. He goes to ten. We swing for one. Two, three. Yeah, but it just eats the vestige. And likewise, if we play the sky spawner, we'll have to just block with all those. Right? So do we just not swing? I don't know. I think we swing in the air. And with the benthic on the trigger. Right? Yeah. That still does five. So we're going to be forced to block him with the Vestige, but that's okay. It doesn't have Trample, which is fortunate. That card would be kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that yeah, card would be broken. I mean, All next turn, best. honestly, next turn, unless he puts something that can block in the air, the Sky Spawner triggers and we deal in the five from combat damage and the one from Molten Nursery, and that's that. Let's I not mean, get it ourselves. This is this is magic. I said if. Removal. Or just would be good. Rolling thunder would be great here, actually. 
why don't we just get the thing that steals things? Like yeah, that. that would be the best. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I can't even think of what that's called now. Um, I can't either. Not act of treason. <laughs> it is called... I love having this little booklet just right, right in my desk. Boy. It is called... This game is not over. Bounces our flyer. Yeah, this is not over. That really actually puts us in not a very good position here. What the fuck is that card Doesn't matter. There, oh. There's more pressing issues. It matters to me. Stop. Yeah, we're in a bad way here. Because now anything we play has to block. All right, so we've got two colorless creatures. Can we ping him down? We can ping him to four, swing for three with the benthic infiltrator. So that's what we should do, right? Swing for two? Yeah. We'll ping him down to two. Actually, he's going to block. Yeah, so. that way we don't have to block with the... Well, yeah. Because we're already going to have to block with Sky Spawner and the Herald. Yeah, it was better to attack with it. We just are throwing it away. Otherwise... Well, I mean, oh yeah, yeah, otherwise. It's called turn against, by the way. Turn against, right. And he's on a four minutes. Mm -hmm. This is the last game anyway, it's not going to matter. Now the question is, do we just put out the one? Um, and then put out the Sky Spawner next turn? Yeah, probably. So we well, if we put in the Cloud Man to what happens, we block for two, we hit him for five, that doesn't do it. Yeah, even if we put in all three of them, just... Okay, all so let's things. just wait. Actually, we could have killed the Mist Intruder, and then that would have ensured that this Mist Intruder gets in. Yeah. We can do that next turn. <laughs> oh, boy. That does a lot. It does a lot of damage. We take 11. Yeah. Last card in hand. I was gonna say I'll be shocked if he doesn't swing. What? Why are you? Why would you leave anything back? Because then we can swing with our two tapped creatures. Yes. That actually puts us in a not fantastic, but better position. Uh, fuck. I forgot about that. I can do it one more time. Why did he do it one more time? I don't know. Hmm. He might be sacking something for a card. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Um, another colorless cheap creature would be real good, too. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that doesn't do it either. So three, yeah, because we just still have to block there. Yeah, I mean, you got to swim both. Unless you want to block, I don't know. I don't think you want to block with that. No, we've got, we were going to have a Scion to jump with. Oh, yeah. Well, 
can we survive is the question. Like if we use our colorless ping to kill the mist intruder, is that the way to go? I think so. One, two. Oh, Kozlex. That's right. Oh yeah, it's gone. Totally forgot about that. If we can we want to play the, we can play the wave wing elemental. That doesn't do enough to kill. It doesn't do anything. Because we still have to block. Yeah. All right. We'll just see. I mean, he takes two in the air next time. He can pump that thing four times. We get a colorless creature. He pumps it four times. It becomes a five five. We take eight. We need a colorless spell. Yeah, we need a colorless spell. Yeah, like gangbusters. Or just like a, something that deals damage or something. Yeah, just get on. Oh no, he did that back. Oh no, he didn't. Looks like he fucked that up. But he didn't instead. He might. It's kind of, de it's kind of depressing that we have three colorless creatures in our graveyard and three on the battlefield. What, is, what does that mean? Oh, I said, what is that? That we need a colorless creature and... No, 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 I was talking about his creature having what is in process our, result. Another colorless creature in our graveyard. Uh, turn against, come on, one time. Turn against would do it too. Oh, How's that it does it. Oh my god, go. that's awesome. It's a swing. Zero card in hand, that's awesome. Don't F6. Oh, I already have six. Oh, fuck. Ah. Unreal. I'd probably stop playing Magic forever if I have six through this. Yeah, I'd probably have you stop playing Magic, too. Wow. Crazy. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy game. That's, and we're both in the red. That's unreal. Wow. Yeah, well, I would have been pretty disappointed if we had lost this match, actually, because I think that our deck is um, quite a bit better than his. Um, yeah, I mean, just Breaker of Armies does a whole lot of, does a whole lot to slow everybody down. No, what? He's going to yeah. sack a creature and, oh, God, we're fucked. Bye. Because he's going to sack a creature and gain a life. Yep, he is. No! And here we thought we had won. Oh, God, we are douches. Oh, no. Yep, and we lose. And then all of that discussion was for naught because we actually do lose. Totally wow. forgot about that. Oh my, that's fantastic. Well, we were saying GG's because he wins. Yeah, because we're nice guys. Oh, insult injury, that's cool. Oh my god, I can't believe that. We're retarded. Oh. I get too excited when I play magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, why is he doing this, though? I don't know. He needed to say, oh, he did save one pump. Just to play every card in hand. 
what he should do is like fuck around some more and run out of time. Yeah, that would be awesome. So that's pretty disappointing. This deck, I think, is much better than a 1 2. Oh my god, what's he doing? Tap that last mana. It doesn't even matter. Just oh, he doesn't have any cards in hand anyway. But. Well, he can pop the Scion. Oh, right. No, oh yeah, because it's two color plus. Fuck. I was like, what is happening? Why is he doing this? Take some more time, though, dude. Seriously. Oh, God. Hmm. That really sucks. That does suck. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't think that's a thing, is it? Dude. Damn it. Trying to eke out every last second here. Yeah. I don't can't believe he's good. put. He might just let it tick down to it now. <laughs> it's like. That really sucks. God. That sucks right, a well, lot. That's what well, we get in our mouths. Well. But who plays that enchantment? Seriously, a lot of people. Well, shit, that that didn't end so good. We suck at magic, but it was a cool deck, and it should have performed much better. But you know, yeah. we've got a couple of tools piloting it, and uh, and uh, we, you know, admittedly, we did run into some serious draw issues this yeah. uh, with this whole well throughout the entire process, actually, which was kind of a bummer because again, I really think that uh, this deck is better than. A, we piloted it, and B, the magic gods um, granted us. Uh, but fun nonetheless. Yeah. I'd take that deck at every draft, honestly. I think that you're going to win a lot more with that deck than you're going to lose. Yeah, like I was going to say, I don't think it was... I mean, yeah, we are some tools not really knowing how to run it, but at the same time, I don't think it was all our fault. Those draws were brutal. Fuck, 11 of our 17 lands in one game is unreal, so... I mean, that's what happens, I guess. Um, yep, that's magic. Yep, that's magic. Hopefully you, it levels out in the end, right? Uh, but it, it hasn't seemed to do that, so... It hasn't so far. We're due. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave a comment, tell us what you want to see us uh, play. Maybe, if you want, we'll, like, force some absurd deck, but maybe not. I don't know. Check the annotations for other drafts that Nicodemus and I have done, and that's all I got to say. You got anything you want to say? Nope. Uh, you know, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we'll catch you later. God, fuck, god damn it. That's unreal. Alright, let's eat some lunch and do another one. God, that pisses me off, dude. That